Let us now have an example. Let us have a matrix called S, where S have three columns, U1, U2, and U3. Now, these three vectors spans the space of W. They are orthogonal to each other, not only that, they are actually octonormal to each other because u1 dotting with himself has length 1. u1 is orthogonal to u2, u1 is orthogonal to u3, and so on. Let us now project y onto the space of w and let us decompose, in other words, let us decompose y into the orthogonal basis u1, u2, u3. What are the widths? This is u1, this is u2, and this is u3. These are the widths c1, c2, and c3. How is c1, c2, c3 formed? It is by this equation over here on the left. y dot uj divided by uj divided by uj. Sorry y dot uj divided by uj dotting with uj. Let us see whether this is what we get. c1 is equals to y dotting with u1 divided by u1 dotting with u1. What do we get on the top? Since this is the identity matrix, the vector u1, u2, u3 are actually e1, e2, e3. y dot u1 is exactly 6. u1 dot u1, because this is an octonormal basis, is 1. So y it is equals to c1 equals to 6. And this vector is u1, like what we have in theorem 5. So you realize that when we have an orthogonal basis, the weights are easily found. The more direct way of looking at this, of course, is that if we already realize that this is the identity matrix, then all we are doing is to break the elements of 618, the R3 element equals to Y, into three parts. And because the three parts are span by orthogonal basis and this is the standard basis that we all know it is very easy to show that 6 for example this is the first axis and let's say this is the origin this is 6 and then the second origin uh, and the second axis let's say this is x2 we need 1 and in the third axis we need minus 8 so the third axis is also orthogonal to the other two axes and we have x3 here going on top and we need minus 8 for example minus 8 here and we would have our point over somewhere here the vector y please do example 1 and example 2 by yourself in example 1 we are again given orthogonal set why do we know that it is an orthogonal set all you need to do is to prove that all pairs of combinations dotting product will be zero therefore this is an orthogonal set the second thing we want to do is to find y as a linear combinations of u1 u2 u3 which is the orthogonal basis of example 1. And then the problem, of course, is simply to find C1, C2, and C3 using these equations here, showing that this is the linear combinations to get Y. Thank you.